Welcome to First Word Pharma's News Roundup for October 19th, brought to you today by editorial researcher Olivia Roger. In our top news story, the FDA approved Gilead Sciences CAR T therapy, yes, CARTA, for certain patients with large B cell lymphoma, the CD19 directed genetically modified autologous T cell immunotherapy, which has a list price of $373,000, is the first such treatment to be approved in the U.S. for this indication. Gilead's Kite unit indicated that yes, CARTA will be manufactured at its facility in El Segundo, California, and will initially be available at 16 centers. Spokeswoman Amy Flood said, The therapy's price was decided following extensive research with both government agencies that reimburse for drug costs and private insurers and cancer centers. In other news, third quarter sales in Roche's pharmaceutical unit increased 6% to 10.1 billion Swiss francs, boosted by the performance of new products. The company's overall revenue rose 6% to 13.1 billion francs, with Roche confirming that it still expects sales this year to grow in the mid-single digits. Roche noted that in the quarter, sales of Rituxin in Europe declined 16% to 406 million francs due to the introduction of biosimilar versions of the product. Daniel O'Day, head of the company's pharmaceutical unit, suggested that the impact will probably worsen in coming quarters. And finally, an FDA advisory panel voted 16 to 0 with one abstention that Novo Nordic's semaglutide should be approved for use in adults with type 2 diabetes. The agency is expected to issue a final decision regarding whether to approve the once-weekly GLP-1 analog injection by December 5th. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 